Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visited the Kharkiv region for the first time since May 29, 2022, when Russia started attacks on its country. Ukrainian Presidency Anatolia Agency Washington Republicans' preliminary debate in Milwaukee on Wednesday is expected to reveal deep divisions within the party on the role of America in Russia's war against Ukraine, reflecting different views Republican voters. Some of party's presidential candidates support sending more lethal aid to support Ukraine's war efforts. These candidates also tend to see the conflict as a proxy war for the defense of democracy worldwide. However, a roughly equal part of GOP area wants U.S. move away from Europe. And if this means rapid end of war, it will press Ukraine to hand over its sovereign territory Moscow. Members of this group want the United States to focus on facing China's global ambitions controlling North Korea's nuclear program and further isolating Iran. A recent survey among Republican front voters in the New York Times Siena suggests that 53 percent are against sending additional U.S. military and economic aid to Ukraine. 44 percent of respondents revealed that his reputation supports it. But point that all Republican candidates agree is that President Joe Biden mismanaged the U.S. role in war, as the Kremlin's unsuccessful invasion enters its 600th day. There is a summary of where each candidate has been standing on the bloodiest conflict in European territory since World War II. President Donald Trump calls out to U.S. Army soldiers at the signing ceremony of national defense. Authority Act in Fort Drum, New York, USA, August 13, 2018. Carlos Berea former Donald Trump claims without any evidence that Russia could prevent the full invasion of Ukraine by mediating an agreement between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Ukrainian Volodymyr Zelensky. In his campaign speech in South Carolina in January, Trump dreamed of an easy peace deal. Although it was due Ukraine's acceptance to surrender its territory Russia. At worst, I could make a deal to take over something. Obviously there are some Russian-speaking areas. But you could make a deal. Hannity in March. The former president was charged in 2019 for detaining the U.S. foreign aid Ukraine to force. Zelensky launch an investigation against the Biden family. Trump, who regularly keeps NATO alliance at the forefront during his presidency, also said that European countries should take a leading role in providing most of financial and humanitarian support to Ukraine. Former Vice President Mike Pence talks to his supporters on June 7, 2023. While officially announcing intention to seek the presidential candidacy of Republicans in Inkini, Iowa, Scott Olson former Vice President Mike Pence became the first Republican candidate to Ukraine after the invasion of Russia. The June trip took only 12 hours, but it also included a meeting with Zelensky and a visit to the mass grave sites discovered after Russian soldiers.